A big thank you to EA for sending me early access to the brand new F1 22 game. Welcome back to my channel. This week we are very lucky to get a chance to actually play the full F1 22 game. We're going to be looking at F1 life including the customization. We are going to have gameplay from my team which is very very exciting. I've been really enjoying playing that this week. Supercars, I finally got my hands on them. We're going to be sharing with you everything about the new supercars and the updated tracks having a good whiz round sharing with you all how they all look but today's video is all about my team welcome to my team lots of new things to come for the f122 game for there are now three choices you can either choose to become a newcomer with tighter resources less money or a midfield challenger where you have a bit more money and the team's expected to challenge for points or a championship contender where you get a hell of a lot more money but more is expected from you we decided to go with midfield challenger now you can either choose to do a full season or you can choose to have a custom season as always you can do 22 races 16 and 10 races and these are all the tracks available we went for a full 22 you can have a recommended settings or you can customize your whole my team career as usual with a few tweaks Career settings, you can choose things like driver moves, department event frequency, facility management, R&D, you've got the acclaim rate and player fault. So you can actually choose the frequency that drivers actually fault and fault types and how severe they are. So you've obviously got the pit stop experience, you can choose immersive where you get to do the actual pit stop yourself and also the safety car experience, you can do the same with them. If you choose the broadcast, then you'll get to watch the actual formation lap, safety car and pit stop. You can choose the My Team icons. Welcome to My Team. Here you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's create your driver. New voice, very nice to hear. We're going to create our driver as you normally would. I've got over the character creation areas. You've seen all this already. And unfortunately, my name isn't an option again. We don't have Jensen or the correct spelling of Jensen. And we don't have Naomi. No good, Codemasters, no good. Selecting our team colours is always a difficult one during my team. Any guesses on what colour we chose? We went for a purple and gold kind of mixture. I like that combo. Right, now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Oh, this is a difficult one. I went for something original and new. You nice. are welcome. Now, some kind of income stream is critical. So we need to sign a primary sponsor. The primary sponsor will pay a sign and bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They'll also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. So like last season, sponsors are crucial to bringing more money in. There are various different options as you can see on screen. Fantastic, now we've got a budget to work with. A car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power units, but we also need to balance the books. We're gonna have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. So this season, Ferrari are OP, but we have Red Bull powertrains. A difficult one and a lot of money to invest into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They have all their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. 
When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. And there they are, the OGs of F1, along with the new guys that you can select from as well. And there they are, Massa like Coulthard, Button, and of course we chose Button, Go of course. Let's create the livery we will be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, an absolute thing of beauty, but we decided to put our own stamp on this car. Last but not least, we need to consider our brand, our badge and team colours. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres that will push tyre technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands, and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? A hot piece of booty. Oh, I mean, a really good racing driver. So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, 
With so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. I've uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and of course to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today, really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. Well, interview over. Very similar from last year, Will Buxton, of course. And here's our car, here is our team. Facilities and the effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. All very similar to last year. Secondary sponsors, you can choose more sponsorship. I do have to mention that anyone that's going for the legend drivers, like I picked Jensen, he drives from race one. So that's a really, really good addition to the game. Yeah, we chose that because it says 69. You are all welcome. There he is. is the market. From here, you can see pertinent details on every driver in the sport. Compare them with each other and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation window rolls round, this is where you'll approach any drivers you wish to hire. As you could see there, the drivers were rated from gold, silver and bronze. Why is Jensen silver? It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. And that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximise the team's performance. All very similar to last year. Add activities to the timeline. As we continue to increase our claim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate town. The personnel department has asked us to deal with this. We have a couple of options here. Take your time. What you decide to do will have consequences. More decision making as a team owner as well, which is really cool. The department appreciates it. Could you take a look at this for us, please? You handled that well. Thank you. And there we have it. The Bahrain Grand Prix, our first race weekend. Now, I'm not going to go into this actual race, but I did want to share some of the things that are new to my team. Welcome to your workstation. Everything should be set up and ready to go. I'm Ben. Anything r and I'm the person to talk to. Oh, and it's tradition for the team to go out for a bite to eat at the end of the race weekend if you're interested. Do well, and it's all on me. And that's motivation in itself. Free food, let's go. Hey mate, this is Mark. Just wanted to say thanks for trusting me as your race engineer. I won't let you down. The car's ready to go, but it's brand new of course, so there may be a few issues here and there. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the data from here. So here you can choose how to play the practice session, which I think is really cool. You can either drive it yourself or they'll do a quick practice through a quicker process via AI. So this is all pretty similar but this graph actually shows you more insights you've got your tire selection the setups and the vehicle what's fitted to it 
OK, break nice and early for 14. It's a long run from there down the pit straight, so you need a good exit. So this is a qualifying pace. And as you're going to see, there's new telemetry in front of us. It's actually a graph that shows us if we're doing well or if we're not doing so well. We're in the negative at the moment. It was a real learning curve, learning which AI I should be at. And as we can see, it's not good. It's just dipping. But you can see your progress, which I think is a really good feature to have on my team. So this is the ERS management. Again, the graph is really cool. We did a lot better on this. This is much easier for us. And that's all we have time for today. Unfortunately, I can't really show you much more of my team because I am going to be starting up my own my team when the game release. So I'm going to leave it as that for now. Lots of new things within my team make it more interesting. I have to say, I have really enjoyed it. Don't forget to click subscribe. More videos will be coming this week, showcasing more of the F122 game. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon.